is milk tea, otherwise known as boba. It is a popular common drink in Asia and is spreading worldwide. In fact, it is so popular that it's one of the largest growing businesses in certain regions. Even if you drink it daily, rarely, every day, or never, there are sides to milk tea you may not know. The business, the nutritional value, the culture and stereotype, the hype. So, we know about the hype, but what really is milk tea? So, milk tea is tea with milk. And the tea could be like green tea or black tea, and then it's just with milk. And like, I'm sure there's some like fructose or whatever in it too. Uh, milk tea, it's like, a, I think it's this uh, Vietnamese, it's Vietnamese drinks, right? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a kind of drink, and you know, you can get different flavors, but it's basically flavors infused with tea, that's it. You know, you can get like, um, watermelon flavor, you know. Isn't it just like, tea, and you put milk in it? Well, when someone orders milk tea, depending on what type they get, um, it's either already pre-made, so we just pour, put it in a cup, or if, for example, they order a mixed flavored drink, such as mango or something like that, um, we have to pump syrup, put in green tea or black tea, depending on what they want, and then we just put creamer in, just mix it up, and then just put it in the cup. Okay. In the Bay Area, milk tea shops have opened up in nearly every corner. That gives milk tea lovers a lot of choices to get their fix. Okay, um, so what's your favorite place to get milk tea? Uh, it's somewhere near Rashaid. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. T4? Share tea? Share, share tea. tea. Share tea. Uh, the place I go to most often would be Black Pearl because it's so close to the school. Gongcha. Gongcha, alright. Um, my favorite place? Uh, I would say Black Pearl just because it's really close, but then I've been to another place called Tapioca Express over in Mopitas. It's really good. Another factor that goes into the business are the names. Shops nowadays like to throw in puns into their names. How do you feel about the multi name puns? <laughs> With the amount of shops opening up, falling into the hype, it's pretty common. Uh, how did you start drinking milk tea? Uh, I so like I I I grew, I, uh, I went to elementary school here in San Jose, and then I moved to Mopitas, so that's where like a lot of Asian people are. Because I went to like a Latino base school here, so when I moved over there, I would hang out with my friends after school, and they're like, "Hey, you want to go to this?" place you know we can get drinks and I was like sure man and so they invited me and they paid for my drink and I was like I have no idea what this is but I'm gonna try it and it tastes really good it's really good a while ago I know that there was this craze for like yogurt at one point and I know I was really into that and then after I just wasn't into that anymore and then I got into milk tea but I don't know like what caused that I think part of it was because there were so many different boba stores and places that were opening up, so maybe that's why. Each milk tea shops have their own diverse flavors and toppings that fit with their customers' preferences. Can you describe the flavor that you like? Of what? Of milk tea. Oh, milk tea? Um, I don't know, I just like original milk tea. Hmm. I'm pretty like simple when I like go for milk tea, so I usually just go for the classic, like a green milk tea or Earl Grey milk tea. So I don't really like like all that fancy stuff. No. Okay. I've only tried one, so I would say it's Thai tea. Oh, yes. That's why I get it all the time and never tried anything else. Okay. Boba. I never tried anything else. Oh, my personal favorite is honeydew. I like that a lot. My favorite topping, lychee. The hype of the business is growing so fast that customers will go get their fix on a daily basis. Daily? <laughs> I drink it like maybe once a month. Once a month or once every two months? Not a heavy drinker. Uh, it's changed a little bit. I mean, I still love it. 
Um, even though I can, I, I can, I can drink a lot. I don't, I don't choose to. Um, just knowing how the process is made definitely makes me, I guess, appreciate it a bit more. I don't want to admit this, but um, probably it depends. Like some days when I'm having a bad day, I'll get it <laughs> because it makes me feel better. So like three, three, three times. Three days out of the week, yeah, probably. Okay. Julia, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> like maybe like if I can, if I could drive, probably like twice, three times a day. On a daily, <sighs> I don't have that much money, so I, I probably drink milk tea about, I think maybe three times a month. But what is not really known is the amount of sugar in each cup. Okay, do you know how much sugar is actually in a cup? No, I don't, and I'd rather not know. <laughs> I would assume one cup. One full cup? A full cup of sugar is in a cup. Alright. But that's my, that's my guess. I don't know, but after I drink it, I feel really tired, so that probably has a lot. It's healthier than soda. <laughs> they added sugar? Mm -hmm. The tapioca balls are not necessarily all that nutritious. We don't tend to think of a tea of any kind as being nutritious, but green teas can have more antioxidants. I don't know what's used in milk tea right now. I'm assuming it's green. It depends on who makes it, but I'm sure there is added sugar. The problem with added sugar is the more added sugar we have in our diet, the more opportunity we have for our system to malfunction, if you will. Um, such things as um, uh, I say intestinal, but it's not intestinal. It's metabolic diseases like like diabetes and obesity are directly related to the amount of sugar people intake, added sugar people have in their food. So the less extra sugar we add, the better. Okay. And milk tea has some sugar in it, I'm assuming. Well, if it's green tea, then it has antioxidants in it. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is an herbal tea, then it doesn't have caffeine. Caffeine is not generally not bad for your body, but it's not health. And for people that have two, three, four, five cups of ca of, of, ca of coffee or tea a day with caffeine in it, it tends to uh, it doesn't tend to benefit your body to have that much caffeine stimulant in your system. On the outside, it's all fun, but what about being on the inside of it all? Um, that's actually pretty good. We're all pretty friendly with each other, and it's like it's we're really we're really goofy, and like we we tend to pull pranks on each other. Like I remember my manager always being like, "Hi, welcome to T4." And since I'm on register, I'm like, "What? What? Where? Where?" But then there's actually no customers, and I'm just like, "I hate you, I hate you." Um, I thought it'd be really fun to do boba, and it's also a lot better than my last job, and it pays a little less, but like, honestly, it's actually the fun, and plus the, the, <laughs> the, the, the benefits of having the job are actually a lot better than my other job. Take the job? Uh, I took the job because it's really convenient, it's really right, right to school, so after school I can just walk there. Um, I live really close, so if they need help, I can just go there anytime I, I need to. Um, that's all pays well for me, and it's really flexible in hours. So some days I can't work, it's perfectly fine. I could work zero days a week, and he's perfectly fine with that. Um, I knew a lot of the, a lot of the workers there before I worked there, so it was just a place to hang out with friends, basically. Okay. Uh, the relationship between coworkers at Blackboard is actually really strong. Uh, we're actually a really good friends. Um, even though he's our boss, we consider him like a really good friend. So it's a really good dynamic there. Okay. Oh, and how are, how's rush hour? <laughs> rush hour? Okay, so um, depending on what type, we sometimes we have random ones just out of nowhere, so it's unexpected. After school rushes are really they're kind of intense, I can say. Um, depending on what day, like Wednesdays for example, it gets it got really busy. If there's a fundraiser, it makes it extra busy, so it can get pretty hectic. Happy hour? Yeah. Um, happy hours tend to be really, really busy just because it's a lot, it's cheaper than our normal normal menu price and also the food's a lot cheaper so that's, I think that's the biggest reason why it's really busy. 
That factor really affects the business and the image of milk tea. Uh, what do you think when you hear milk tea addicts? Um, people with a lot of free time. <laughs> um, they're being ripped off. I think they know. I think they know that. How? Um, hmm, how? Well, it's very cost efficient to make milk tea, so people use it mark it up by a lot, right? So that's how they get their profit. I, still, I suppose it's not really called being ripped off, but that's what I like to call it. Uh, diabetes and sugar. Yeah. The trend is still there, but some people still choose not to fall into the hype. Why do you choose not to drink it? Well, because I, I, I have no... In, it's good, but, you know, no interest in really drinking it constantly, so... I'm poor. So if you've just learned a lot about milk tea, does that change your opinion? And don't forget to come to Black Pearl Wednesdays and Fridays and tip very well. That'll be much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you.